Hey, welcome back. Today I made chocolate cupcakes, but there's wheat in it. I adapted my recipe from Life, Love, and Sugar, so definitely go check her out, and I'll show you how I made seven cupcakes with about 50 milligrams each. I'm gonna start off by weighing out my weed. I'm using seven grams, and this is the equation that I'll be using for dosage. Next, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 240, and while that's heating up, I'm gonna start breaking up my weed. You'll notice that I just break it up with my hands rather than grinding it. That's because I've heard the smaller the particles are, the more the weed flavor comes through in your final butter. When my oven is ready, I'm gonna put it in for about 35 minutes. And while my weed is decarbing, I'm gonna start melting my butter. So in a saucepan, I'll put half a cup of water and three fourths a cup of butter. I'm gonna melt this on low heat and my goal is to get this at a stable temperature before I'm adding my weed. So when I see that it's sitting at around 190, I'm gonna add in my decarbed weed. I'm gonna be cooking this for about two and a half hours. I wanna check the temperature and stir it about every 30 minutes, and I'm just making sure that it's sitting at around 185 to just under 200 degrees. When the butter is ready, I'm gonna strain out the weed. The finer mesh you use, the less weed particles you'll have in your final product. When I'm finished patting out the weed, I just put a lid on it and throw it in my fridge for about two or three hours until it's hardened. This is our final product. You can see the butter has hardened on top of the water, so I usually just cut it with a knife and take out the pieces of can of butter and then dump out the excess water. I usually weigh my can of butter when it's finished just to see how much butter I was left with and also to help with more accurate dosing. I'm only going to be using half of this for the recipe, so about 350 milligrams and about half a stick of butter. Next I'm going to get to work on my dry ingredients. I'm adding half a cup of flour, half a cup of sugar and three tablespoons of cocoa powder to a bowl, and I'm gonna sift that together. I find that cocoa powder is really clumpy, so I try to sift it when I'm working with it, and anything that you're left with at the end, probably some large lumps of cocoa, you can just throw those away. To this, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt, and just mix that together. I need melted butter for this recipe, so I'm going to melt it in a double boiler. Please never microwave your can of butter. Just bring a little water to a boil in a saucepan and put a bowl over the top. I'm gonna to be adding a fourth a cup of water because I need a fourth a cup of hot water for this recipe, so just killing two birds with one stone here. It melted pretty quickly, so I turned off the heat while I added my other wet ingredients. I started with an egg, then half a teaspoon of vanilla, and a fourth a cup of milk. I mix this into the dry a little bit first because I don't want the egg to cook when I add in that hot water and butter. When those are added, you're just going to mix everything to combine. Make sure you're scraping the sides and bottom of your bowl so that you don't have any flour pockets. And you'll see that our final product is a pretty thin batter. Next, we'll set our oven to 300 and while it's preheating, we'll measure out our cupcakes. I make these about three-fourths full, and since they're edibles, you want to make sure you're pouring them out as evenly as you can. When your oven is ready, you'll put them in for about 30 to 35 minutes. When they were finished, I took them out of the baking pan and put them onto a tray to cool, and while they were cooling, I started working on some frosting. I'm starting with half a cup of soft butter. If you have an electric mixer, I would encourage you to use it, but I don't, so I just whisked it until it looked about like this. To this, I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla and a tablespoon of milk. Then I'm going to start whisking in my powdered sugar. I used a total of two and a half cups of powdered sugar, but I just beat it in in parts. You'll know it is finished when it's white and fluffy like this. I put mine in a piping bag, but feel free to decorate yours however you'd like. These are my finished cupcakes. Like I said, they should be about 50 milligrams each, but with homemade edibles, it is hard to be exact, so just eat half if you need to. 
Let me know what you guys thought of this video and recipe in the comments. If you try making these at home, I would love to see pictures. You can find me on Instagram. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.